If you want to improve your lawn or do a better job taking care of your yard, I highly recommend getting a battery-powered sprayer. They work well, they're very consistent, and you never get tired using them. But the problem is the price. They've been very expensive in the past, or they were just poor quality. But in today's video, I'm going to show you a new model that changes all that that you don't just have to use sprayers in your yard you can also use them for things like cleaning spraying outdoor furniture you can use them of course for insecticides herbicides they're very useful to have the biggest reason is consistency because when you spray you're going to get a nice even result even the best pump sprayer when you're pumping those things up and down even if they have a regulator, you're just not going to get a consistent result the same way you can from a battery powered unit. So now I did a review and that review included this sprayer, which is the Sprayers Plus YT25E. And in that review, the sprayer didn't do real well. In fact, it leaked out the bottom and I couldn't believe it because it looked great out of the box. And when I started to do the review, it just failed miserably. But the good news is Sprayers Plus contacted me from that review. And this is actually not the same sprayer. They shipped me another one and it works perfectly. When I took a closer look, it looked to be shipping damage. But let's take a look at this in more detail and see how it does. Everything was assembled. The only thing I had to do was to attach this wand, which took about two seconds. And this is a lithium ion battery, which is already like a big deal because most of these units don't do lithium ion, especially in this price range. This is really easy to snap in. This is convenient because during the you know use, if your battery dies, just pop it out and put your new one in. So this is really, this, this I like a lot before I've even begun to try it out. This is just a desktop charger. And this is great because a lot of these sprayers, including the Jackdo, you've got to plug the cord directly in it. This just seems more convenient to me because now I can charge my battery right on the desk or your worktop. And it's even got this little meter to show you how far along the charge is. So this already is a lot more advanced than many of the units. Again, especially in this price range. Just a little thing of silicone grease. I'm sure you're going to use this on the different gaskets, but this may not be something you have. So this is just a nice little extra that they include. This little bit was the only part I thought was a little bit odd was when you unbox this, this is jammed inside the unit. It says to keep it because when you're going to store the unit, I guess they recommend that you shove this back in just to keep the pump and everything sort of wet. Because if you leave this off and it all dries out, I guess that can damage the pump. Full of extra tips. And you know, if you've bought other sprays, you might not think this is the biggest deal. But again, when I get to the price, this stuff is pretty good that you actually get a few different options here. And this just seems really well made. If you take a look, that's just a that's just a lot of good machining in there. And this is all solid brass. This hose is very well made. It feels pretty industrial quality. And it, it you know looks to me like it was something built for this, not just some other hose they adapted. This is simple, but it's definitely going to be effective. Is This is so when you're using it, if you want to keep it in the on position, it's real simple. You just flip that latch. I also like that because I can do it with one hand. I believe there's a filter in here as well. Yeah, so that's nice. That's easy. That's a good design. These are all Viton seals, so that's pretty high quality. You can snap it on the top like that. I never really liked this. I always just feel like it's kind of awkward to me, but I guess if you're carrying it around, that might be easier. Or you can even wrap the cord a little bit, which keeps it nice and neat, where not only does it go into it, but then it really engages. So that's cool. It's just filled with water right now. Just turn it on, one switch. And all I gotta do is adjust this nozzle to how I want it. Give it a squeeze. That's got pretty good pressure for a small pump. So a lot of times that's about the size I'm gonna use, depending on what I'm putting down. But you can really make that pretty fine. So that's the finest it gets. You could use that for a lot of um, herbicides. And again, this is water, so don't, don't freak out about my personal protective equipment. If you think you don't need a battery unit, I would definitely recommend taking a second look because if you've got a really small yard, then maybe a pump unit's fine for you, but pump units break all the time. So don't think that a battery unit is gonna be unreliable because a lot of those manual ones are frozen up whenever I go to use them. I mean, this is like night and day. You do one plant, two. I mean, this is great. If you were putting down a liquid fertilizer, which I don't particularly love liquid fertilizers, but some people do. I mean, you can do all your plants fast. And here I wanted to test the output of the pump. So I remove the nozzle, set a timer for one minute, and I'm gonna measure how much solution I can pump through in 60 seconds. We'll stop this. 
So I stopped it at a minute and we're almost exactly two quarts. So we checked this thing out and put it through its paces and I absolutely recommend it. The price is the number one reason. For under $150, this thing is a bargain. You can't even get a manual sprayer, or at least a high quality one, for under 50 bucks. I think to start, for $100 more, you're gonna get a unit that one holds two and a half gallons, the battery is great, you're gonna get less fatigued because you don't have to do the pumping. I mentioned I like the external battery. I love this desktop charger. And it's kinda nice that they give you these extras as well. But the biggest thing I like is that the company actually stood up when I had a problem and then I could get a hold of them for help. So that's what you need a lot of times if you're gonna buy a high quality tool. I would recommend to check this one out. It seems excellent to me. You know. So that wraps up the video. I hope you found this interesting. If you've ever wanted to get a battery sprayer, I don't think you can beat this one, especially for the price. I put a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. And please give me a thumbs up on this video if you found this useful and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming soon.